Barbara Lee Potter. And I was born in the San Francisco area in 1943. My adopted mother and father were match made in Korea, maybe when they were 14 or 15, I'm not sure how old they were. My adoptive father, he was first cousins with Mrs. Helen Ahn, uh, who I call Kun Mama. We live right next door to them. I was emotionally more close to the Ahns, which was kind of sad for my mother because she got very jealous, but she didn't know how to raise a child. One time when I was really an inf still an infant, uh, she, I guess she just couldn't cope and um, I guess was beating me. I don't know, I'm not sure. But Filson, the second oldest of the Ahn family, found fond of beating me. And that even made, I guess it made it more important that they, they oversee me. My m mother really didn't know how to take care of a child. They were 44 when I was adopted. My adoptive father was a patriot following An Chung Ho. At 19, he came to America <laughs> and left her in Korea. <laughs> I'm not sure how old she was, maybe 40. She came and she called Mrs. Ahn <laughs> and said, I'm looking for my husband. <laughs> she called him and said, your wife is here from Korea. And uh, what she wanted was to have a child by him. So he felt obligated that he should do this. So he came back to LA and uh, they tried and I guess she, she miscarried. And then through Mrs. Ahn, uh, they heard about me in San Francisco uh, being up for adoption. And actually, I, I think she was one of Mrs. Ahn's closest friends, lived up there and adopted me first. <laughs> but she also was old. She and her husband were old. I don't know the time frame, but it was just maybe a month that um, she, she got sick and they had to put me back into the adoption agency. And that's when Mrs. Ahn and Philip Ahn told my father that I was available and uh, that's how they adopted me. I, I found out I was uh, adopted kind of, a, you know, it was like a fluke. Um, there was a friend, I mean, it's somebody I played with and went to school with in sixth grade that came from Hawaii. And uh, she's the one that told me, she said, you know, you're adopted. I go, no, I'm not. I was going, what? And so I asked my dad, I said, I need my birth certificate. I had never seen it. He said, why do you want to see your birth certificate? <laughs> and I said, it was a school project. So it was a little photostat, and I guess in those days, they put, you know, Ok Sun Lee and Young Sun Lee as my, my parents. So I happened to be staying with the aunts, <laughs> and uh, it was just before my 13th birthday, and uh, I decided just to ask, ask them, maybe it's time for you to know, she told me. It turns out, it was the best kept secret of this Korean community. They kept it a secret. My, my aunts, my cousins, you know, my best friend Barbara, who I grew up with, you know, from, she even knew. After the trauma of feeling, I have no blood relatives. <laughs> you know, being a teenager, starting to be a teenager, I was very emotional. But um, it wasn't until, uh, I was around 45 uh, that I, I kind of decided I would check it out. We had a big party at the Moongate and it was at the end of the party and I was sitting next to a, kind of like an aunt of mine and I just said it out loud. I said, oh, I think I'm gonna go talk to Ada. I understand that you know something about my, you know, fa real family. And Ada, who I grew up with, her son is the same age as me, <laughs> she turns to her 
husband, Andy, she goes, Andy, remember when, during the war when you were stationed in Hawaii and saw her mother? That was the start of it. And I eventually met her, which was such a, <laughs> an experience. She came here when she found out that I was looking for her through her sister who lived here, Florence Ahn, Sarah Ahn, and I went to have lunch with her. And uh, she, you know, told me, I will let your mom know you're looking for her. It was like the secret had been there since I was born and came to L.A. And as soon as I said something, they, they opened up, just like my aunt saying, Andy, we went and saw Annie's real mother. And I'm going, how come you never t told me? We didn't know you were looking for your real mother. And we couldn't say anything because of your adopted mother. So I, I met her and um, kind of rounded, rounded my life. She and I had the same toes, you know. I mean, I didn't have anyone to compare with. And I met my father. She said, I will see if he's living or dead. <laughs> and, you know, I met him when I went to Hawaii to meet my siblings. She had five other children, me being the oldest. And um, I'm very proud of my Korean side. My name is Barbara Uni Lee Potter, and this is my Korean-American story. Mm -hmm.